society any kind such kind of career option you want to you have to tell me via this chat box okay shubham very good ias ias is career option okay any other career option ips okay civil services so of course <clears throat> you can say that uh, pandemic is there lockdown is there we are suffering uh, this lockdown and our uh, country has suffered due to this so you can say that but government has not suffered government work is going on government is working efficiently officers are working efficiently so you can say this is one of the best career option which is not dependent on any external factors so all of you whatever you are telling is absolutely correct then now i would like to tell you that uh, how many of you are 12th pass here 12th examination you have just given and you have passed so how many of you just uh, you can raise your hand 12th pass yes okay okay so this uh, webinar is there for 12 pass students as well as who are already graduates so for both the types of uh, students we are delivering this webinar so i welcome all of you on behalf of a shaha institute and this institute if you can search it on a google so you are at a perfect place that this is one of the top institutes in mumbai you can say for civil services preparation and i'll be uh, taking you through the journey for from how i cannot to how i can so today's theme is there see what is the problem problem is that whenever we talk about government jobs whenever we talk about upsc examination npsc examination ias ips it is for it is very easy to talk but the problem is that uh, many students also think that it is a very difficult thing so we are going to counter it today that how i cannot to i can so this will be our journey in this today's webinar okay so i welcome all of you now i am uh, uploading my ppt so you need just you just need to tell me that if it is visible give me 2 minutes yeah so i have uploaded the uh, presentation so it will take couple of minutes have patience see students patience is very important from the context of this patience i can say that if you want to become civil services officers or top level officers then patience carries a big role in that so first studies okay you need to think about the studies how to study what to study we are there to guide you but first of all you need to understand how to develop the patience that is the prime most important thing okay how to develop the patience that is prime most important thing now the ppt is uh, getting loaded so apart from that so first you talk about that uh, okay uh, one of the best career option is civil services which is not dependent on any other external factors now can i ask you the question what is the difference between private job and what is the difference between civil services related whatever service you will be uh, giving to the country or to the state what is the difference between that what is the difference between private job and what is the difference between civil services career option you can talk me you can interact with me uh, via voice no problem yeah difference between private job and civil services careers can you tell me or if it is getting uploaded yes student chat box you can answer me you need to be interactive okay see i would like to tell you that if you are interactive na you can really be any battle provided that you are interactive job security very good see first of all job is not a correct word. see forget forget about the job okay job is not a correct word you are going to you are uh, you are going to civil services civil services officer so job is improper word first of all remove that job mentality from your head 
if you are exploring for the jobs there are a lot of jobs available in the market and there are other examinations also public sector jobs that you can give but if you want to become civil services if you want to become ias level officers ips level officers then remove that job mentality you are not here to get the job okay so job security there are lots of jobs available in the market so first of all forget about that job mentality then so any other aspect of course job security is there okay your differentiation factor is correct but you need you need not uh, consider that job security in your mind before preparing this examination so okay one is the job security any other aspect private job and civil service job what is the difference what are the plus what are the minuses will serve country and a lot of respect in a very good that is the point which i was looking for so you will be serving the country ultimately in a private job who you are serving you are serving a private organization a private company where owner is uh, is a uh, personal where owner is a family where owner is an elite family they are not contribution any they are not contributing anything for the nation okay but via civil services you are directly contributing to the nation you are directly contributing to the public of this nation that's why it is called as civil services you are giving services okay then passion for serving the entire nation okay passion is of course passion is there and government will take care of you students if you are passionate if you are eager to serve your country government is will take care of you 100 times more than any private job even if you are a manager even if you are a ceo in a private job government is going to take care of you okay then we serve country in a lot of respect of course that respect will be there prestige will be there passion for serving the entire nation earning in every field but here is earning with dignity of course see you cannot replace you cannot re uh, replace your identity you cannot replace your uh, respect whatever you are going getting from the society with the money you cannot measure it in terms of money and salaries okay people are going to respect you your identification is going to be there into the society people are going to recognize you not only you but your family your relatives people are going to recognize and give respect so this is the thing which you cannot measure in terms of money or in terms of salaries so absolutely correct point be the change we want to see in the governors very good so mahatma gandhi's slogan was there be the change you want to see into the society be the change you want to become so if you want to change this nation if you want to change the system then you need to become part of this system as per the mahatma gandhi slogan be the change you want to become so very good so uh, shubham uh, your uh, sentence reminded me of that great sentence from mahatma gandhi so very good i like your answers and your answers itself shows that you are very much passionate for your civil services careers and i assure you you are at a perfect and right place satisfaction yeah of course satisfaction is always there what you have done for your country ultimately what you are doing for your country what you have done for the society that is a question mark at the end of a private job so if this question you are asking yourself when you are uh, uh, into the civil services this question will give you self satisfaction okay so satisfaction will be there respect will be there power will be there so we are going through our slides so uh, i again welcome all of you then so as uh, nelson mandela says he is a great leader you can say that it always seems impossible until it is done see there is a journey <clears throat> everything you might have done in your career it it might ha have been always seen im seem impossible okay i cannot do that it seems very difficult uh, i don't think i would be able to do that i have some limitations i have some uh, resources constraints so i will not able to do that but at least one in your life it might have happened that okay you were initially thinking about that you cannot do that but you have ultimately did that at least one thing you might have done in your career this so my friends believe that this is a very much uh, you can say relevant with your life not only about studies but uh, other life challenges also so you should always remember this slogan it always seems impossible until it's done finally okay then next thing so i would like to tell you that uh, first we would be playing a game a quick game we will be playing okay so my first question to you is you can quickly draw this diagram in your uh, notebook or if your visual power is good you can think about that visual power okay let's let's start, let's think about your aptitude okay you all might be having knowledge you all might be having a very uh, studious uh, persona or you might be reading the books but let's uh, let's check your aptitude also and can you tell that uh, 
can you see uh, this diagram all of you interact via chat box we quickly draw this diagram in your notebook quickly draw this diagram on the blank page okay yes so two minutes uh, two to three minutes game we are playing a small game via that game i want to tell you something okay so uh, you can interact with me via your voice also okay if you cannot able to show me the diagram you can at least uh, interact via voice no problem so my first question to you is can you see the four uh, squares in this diagram uh, you need to interact students your chats are not coming smoothly so you need to ensure that you are interacting so can you can you see these four squares over here look carefully to the diagram now i will be asking you four questions about this square okay yes so my first question to you is so listen carefully see carefully okay so divide the white portion a can you see white portion a over here can you see white portion a you can see white portion a over here so divide the white portion a into two equal parts this is a this is a white portion okay not a shaded portion can you see this uh, corner this corner you need to divide into two equal parts how can you divide it you can interact orally also portion a this elbow this elbow you need to divide in two equal parts yeah you can chat also yes someone is typing i am eager to know the answers from you you can in talk also students drawing a diagonal line very good you can draw a diagonal like this i'm showing you i know obviously you can all all of you can give this answer so diagonal line i will be drawing like this can you able to see this diagonal line okay from this point to this point i will be drawing a diagram so you can divide portion a into equal parts very good you have uh, answered correctly so this is what it was expected okay you can see the answer now you will be able to see the answer which all of you have given correctly fine see this this this, this is what you talk about right so all of you are correct now my second question now second question is getting loaded you need to divide the portion b now portion b in three equal parts see divide the white area in square b into three equal parts so white area in square b you can see you need to divide in three equal parts there is a big moral behind that game so don't think that ki sir why you are taking this we are here to prepare for the civil services and uh, what you are taking these games and all so there is one moral behind that i want to tell you yeah can you chat or can you tell me how can you divide portion b in three equal parts again not a very challenging question but uh, might be difficult for some people portion b that elbow you need to divide in three equal parts adding more three boxes in the b part okay adding more three boxes in the b part how you can add but how you can add but drawing three squares in part b yeah three squares in part b but how you need to increase this length yes you are correct you need to increase this length and you need to increase this length right then you can interact into three equal parts three equal parts you can write you can write you can increase this length you can increase this length also okay understood so that way it will be very good so all of you might have done the answer correctly so you can see the solution over here that way right that way you wanted to tell that uh, we will be increasing that length and we will be increasing the horizontal length and vertical length and and we will be dividing that uh, white portion of that square into three equal parts fine okay now now the next challenge is coming okay now the next challenge is coming uh, how you can answer you can tell me okay so no now the next challenge is coming the diagram number 3 okay so you have answered it correctly now the portion c you can see the portion divide the white area in a square c into four equal pieces in four equal pieces you need to divide the white portion of the uh, portion c how it is possible now how you will be doing that white portion of c in four equal pieces is it challenging uh can you uh, yeah image sharing is not possible no no problem yes can you uh, tell me orally you can also tell if you are if you are getting difficulty in writing then you can tell me orally also four equal pieces how it is possible yeah uh, can't you interact via your voice students so i would be uh, getting a better response 
Yeah, Pratham Vaish. Uh, Pratham, can you tell me how can you divide it into four equal parts? He seems offline. Shubham, can you tell me how, how you can divide it into uh, four equal parts? Yes, more messages are there. Yeah, only white portion, only white portion. Mixing mixed line A and B. Okay, mixed line set of A and B. No, sorry. Do we have to divide the white portion only? No. Only white portion you need to divide, not a black portion. Okay, I will be telling you the answer for this also. See, that way you can divide it into four equal parts. Is it, uh, yeah, adding four triangles from the diagonals? No, it is not like a four triangles. Can you see this diagram? You have divided that unshaded portion of C in four equal parts like this. So first one was easy. Second one was little bit difficult. Third one is extremely difficult. Now the most difficult question is coming. Now the most difficult question is coming and you need to answer me in seven seconds, seven to 10 seconds. You need to answer me to the next question. Okay, so all of you are convinced how four, four equal parts we are doing here. All of you are convinced how we are dividing it into four equal parts. Yes or no? Yes, tell me yes or no. I have divided unshaded portion of scene. Was it a creative one? Was it a creative one? Yeah, it was. Of course, it was a creative. Now the best question, now the difficult question is coming. Just pay attention. Last question. In one minute, it will take. So divide unshaded portion of D in seven equal parts. Divide unshaded portion of D in seven equal parts. Yes, you can interact via orally. You can interact orally also. Seven equal parts. It seems, just tell me in the chat box, is it easy or is it difficult? I just want the answer. Is it easy or difficult? Only that thing. I'm not bothered about your answers. Are you uh, able to do it into seven equal parts or not? I'm not bothered about that. Yeah. Pratham Visharya, can you tell me how it is easy? Seven equal parts. That is the last question before we come to the conclusion of uh, this uh, puzzle. And students, believe me, this is one of the questions which has been asked in actual interview of civil services. This question was there in, I guess, uh, 2003. This question was there in one of the interviews. Easy how? Can you just elaborate within? some fraction of seconds some within some seconds can you elaborate how it is easy drawing seven straight lines in the main bigger square okay nice so uh, great answer from pratham visharya so see students i just wanted to tell you that how the mentality goes now see it was so easy it was so easy see just drawing the seven equal parts just drawing the seven uh, lines like this right so i want to tell you that your mentality might have happened ki, okay uh, sir first question uh, one first question was easy second question was little bit difficult third question is extreme was extremely difficult and expected you expected that next question whatever was coming that is question number four must be very difficult and you just could not think about that okay but that's question number four was actually very easy so that mentality i wanted to tell you that you need to nurture that mentality of negative mentality. See, every question is a fresh question. Every situation is a fresh situation. And you need to counter that situation. OK, so you don't have to depend on the previous uh, mentalities. OK, I was a very dumb student in question. Uh, I'm just telling you the moral of this. I was a very dumb student in my 10th standard. And uh, how I can do the IAS examination. I was. I had got very less marks in 12th standard. How I can uh, prepare for IAS examination. So that sort of negative mentality you need to get rid of. Okay, that question number four was extremely easy. That was an easiest question. But you perceive that it was a very difficult question because your past references what was talking that question number one was easy, second was difficult, third was extremely difficult, fourth must be very difficult. So this is what happens with our life also. We think that, okay, I have just seen the failures. I have seen the less marks in my past. So I will not be able to do this. And there are some you can say, why I cannot do it? Why you cannot do IS examination? Why you cannot crack UPSC or MPC examination? Because there are some negative aspects. First aspect is it is very tough examination. I am an average student. It is not my cup of tea. I am from science background. How I can do this? There is no one to guide me. I have no interest in politics. 
I am a girl. Is it safe for me to join the civil services? Many kind of negative aspects, negative situation comes in your mind whenever you think about that civil services career. So these are some see lots of thousands of questions are there, but these are these are some example point of view. I have taken those questions. <laughs> so first of all, come out of your negative mentality. So first myth is that it is a very tough examination. Why you cannot do this? Why I cannot do it? See, our today's session is about I cannot to I can. So there is one rational approach. We are not here to uh, tell you the dreamy lines and uh, very cheesy lines and uh, uh, regarding that key, uh, you will be getting, we will be giving you and all those things. Not like that. We are telling you logically how it is possible. So first question was, okay, uh, is it really difficult? UPC and civil services is very difficult examination and that's why I cannot do that. This is the first major or this is the first thing students talking about. So definitely that attitude is important. I can attitude is very important before cracking this examination. Before study, before study or before working hard for your uh, uh, examination, it is very important to prepare mentally. To prepare yourself mentally is very important. And for that, I can attitude is very important. IQ comes secondary. Believe me, as far as civil services examination is there, mental power is very much important mental power so your i can attitude is going to help you and we are we are here to develop that attitude into you yes i can okay so iq is okay iq you can say that uh, this examination is not much dependent on memory okay this examination is not very much dependent on memory like the way your school and colleges examinations used to be so there is a this difference in this competitive exam and your school and college examinations so how to develop that attitude we, we are here experience team is there i am associated with this uh, institute since last uh, one decade so i see what kind of faculties come here what uh, how they are guiding to the students what kind of you can say perseverance uh, they are taking for the students what kind of you can say uh, hard work they are taking for the students so we are here to develop that attitude yes i can and your hard work and our guidance will give you conviction that yes you can do this and of course, some qualities are required from you. Okay, studies, you might be average, you might be above average, you might be excellent, you might not be excellent. That is the second part. First of all, your attitude is very important. Okay, you should work sincerely. You should you should have interest in this examination. You should have data and you should have our guidance. And we are here for that last thing. Proper guidance, we are there. But before that, you need to develop these qualities into you. Interest, sincerity, strategy and dedication. If you even if you are average in studies, you can become an IAS officer or a civil services officer if you have these qualities in you. Okay, then so next part is that first your integrity and what are needed. Okay, so we are going to now see this is this is what the journey we will be taking you through. No, no, paper pattern is going to take. See, you are too much prejudgmental. Okay. This is very much prejudgmental. I have a total of around 20 slides are there and even a half an hour is there. So you will need to have patience, guys. You need to have patience. Okay. Mr. Uh, Ibrahim, you are going to see everything. You are going to get everything which we have committed. Okay. So you just have some patience. So this is what the journey will be taking through. I won't do this to I can do this. I won't. First of all, many questions, many students, uh, my parent might have uh, sent you in this webinar that uh, uh, then you might be thinking that, okay, I, I, I will not able to do this, but then I can do it. I want to do it. How do I do it? I will try to do it. I can do it. I will do it. And yes, I did it. You will be going through that journey. You will be passing through that journey. And we are here to passing. We are here to take you through this valuable journey. So you just need to remember this roadmap. And how that roadmap is developed, that roadmap is developed via your attitude. If your attitude is there, you can go through this journey and you can become a winner in this particular journey. Now, talking, coming to the formal points, what Mr. Abraham has wanted. Now, you'll be getting some uh, slides and all. So, college career, I'll be talking about that. So, UPSC, what is UPSC? UPSC is Union Public Service Commission, a constitutional body granted by government of India. That you can get it anywhere. You can get this information. Now, so important thing is that UPSC, what you will be getting via civil services, power, social prestige, and what kind of facilities are there that you can always get information. This is, this is a snapshot of the facilities. 
what kind of facilities you'll be getting study use are there you can say foreign vehicle store for foreign study tours and all those aspects will be there okay uh, study use where government will be promoting you government will be uh, telling you to take uh, 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 get a scholarship to get into the foreign universities it it will be government will be there for each and every aspect for your life so a very nice lifestyle a very nice facilities are given by the government for any uh, civil services officers okay power and social prestige is most important part in that which we all have already talked about then now uh, many students ask sir what is the salary and what are the facilities the civil service officers get you can say that you can see the salary figures salary figures are as a cabinet secretary grade you will be getting around 2.25 thousand salaries around 2 lakh 2 lakh 25 thousand salary will be getting 6 pay and 7 pay commission okay so these are the uh, cutouts from times of india this is a uh, 6 pay commission figures so you can see that what kind of see and nobody does this uh, you can say uh, examination for from salary point of view okay there is a different perspective i talk about those perspective so salary comes secondary first comes your passion first comes your country next so again same thing salary packages and all paper pattern see now the point is coming slowly slowly okay so uh, some of you might be already uh, very much motivated and some of you might not be motivated so first of all your mentality is important okay so you can say paper pattern and all this it, it will it is available in google also paper pattern syllabus all the things are available in google for that you don't have to come in this webinar the, here we are giving you some exclusive thing and you need to think about those exclusivity what exclusive things we are giving that that uh, you need to understand and mentality is important studies is not important believe me studies studies come secondary first your mentality comes so paper pattern is there everywhere paper pattern changes every year paper pattern changes for that you need to read the notifications around 35 page notification is there a pdf notification you just search it in a google you need to first of all if you want to prepare for this examination now first you need to read the notification students i tell you if 100 students are coming uh, that sir please guide us for upsc examination then out of 100 only 10 percent students read the notification so first important aspect to clear direction about the examination reading the notification is very important so first read the notification upsc.gov.in or via google you will get the pdf notification in that case okay then so this is generally the paper pattern notification will come preliminary exam main exam personality test now can i ask you why such kind of paper pattern is there why such kind of paper pattern why there is not mains exam directly why there is preliminary examination can you answer via chat box why there is a preliminary examination or you can interact via voice also why preliminary examination yes zera come on to get the deserving candidates see not to get the deserving candidates okay your answer see to get the deserving candidates will come into the main system first not to get undeserving candidates i'm chatting i'm typing here not to get not to get undeserving candidates not to get undeserving candidates this is a motive behind preliminary examination this is a motive behind preliminary examination that not to get undeserving candidates so preliminary examination is for filtration purpose see there are many people who talks about the dreams sir i want to become is officer i will become is officer i'll become um, i will serve my country but the problem is that but the problem is that they just they are just into their dreams they are not uh, there to study they are not studying anything they are they are not reading the content so for that purpose for filtration purpose not to select deserving candidates but to eliminate undeserving candidates to eliminate the garbage i will say to eliminate the garbage that is a literal word for that because the problem is that our country is a famous country for manpower our country has got a talented manpower so there is a lot of talent available in india even our talent is serving the other countries but so the problem comes i want to select the gems i want to select the best of best people out of so many crores available for that preliminary exam is necessary filtration is required you cannot take interview of five lakh people and you can select the is officers for that preliminary examination is necessary okay exactly very good all the answers are nice so you need to go through the notification first of all and then mains examination will be selecting a deserving candidates why are mains 
because in mains there will be subjective examination you need to write all the things your knowledge will be tested into the main examination and then finally your interview via personality test your interview will be selected in that test okay okay now next we'll be talking about the next slide is coming so you understood the the intent behind preliminary examination and the intent behind main examination okay main examination is completely subjective kind of examination where you need to write okay now uh, you don't think about such negative aspect that uh, so many people give the examination and how many get selected so first of all i would like to tell you about our uh, you can say uh, uh, website first of all what you do the first thing if you want to become ias officer now first visit our website youngias.com you will get you can say that as personally personally i will i will uh, i feel that this is the number one website as far as civil services preparation the candidates who want to prepare for civil services this is a number one website is.com you can just go through the website so many content so much of content is available and not only a content in terms of quantity but a content in terms of quality is available so first of all go through all the things are given statistics uh, statistics have been given how many people get selected what is the male female to get selected into the ias examination and all so i would i would tell you that there are two types of studies one is direct study and one is indirect study what is can you tell me what is direct study and what is indirect studies can you tell me what is direct studies and indirect studies anyone see what is direct study direct study is you are directly reading the book and you are reading the content you are grasping the content is your direct study and what is indirect study that is more important in today's uh, scenario indirect study is you are visiting the website you are downloading the content you are downloading the question papers you are seeing the youtube you are getting the uh, you can see information via youtube all the things whatever not directly related to studies but which will be supporting your studies is called as indirect studies yeah books books in the terms of collecting the books downloading the pdfs of the book ordering the books online this will come into your indirect studies so guys never uh, first of all you need to take care of both the aspects studies is not only all about uh, reading the books and going through the content is not all about the study studies is studies is not not all about this studies the huge part is played by indirect studies especially into the civil services examination where content collection is very important first collect the content don't directly jump onto the uh, what is the syllabus and i want to read directly start reading don't do like that first first collect the content first first prepare your mind collect the content get the resources and then slowly slowly you start preparing for those examinations we are here to guide you all our experts will be guiding you because you are very raw students you are a raw students your mentality is, needs to be prepared so first for pre uh, creating your mentality see what will happen ultimately now it will break down if you're if you're not mentally prepared and if we are bombarding you with the syllabus with your uh, you can say uh, papers and all those things you will get break there will be a break point into your mentality so our experts are there which will be guiding you via mentally as well as intellectually this is a usp of our institute our institute which is top institutes in mumbai you can say that uh, mentality we prepare students mentally this is our usp apart from giving them content and giving them intellectual or giving them you can say intellectual content and all fine then so see upsc is not only about ias ips and all those things there are many different uh, services also available in upsc there are 24 different posts available first understand what is this because if you are only blindly studying now you will not be getting a direction first get the direction and then study see what you do suppose if you want to travel from uh, kulabad to suppose dadar what you will be doing first if you want to travel from kulabad to dadar what you will be doing will be randomly sitting into any train okay i think this train is good i should sit into this train and this train be train will uh, lead me to the other will it happen like this no what you need to do you need to first purchase a ticket of the other train you know you, you need to first purchase a ticket of the other station from kulaba and then via that ticket you will be sitting into a proper train which is actually going in that direction and then you will be reaching your destination so direction is very important the problem in today's youth is they are very uh, you can say uh, very much exciting they get excited very easily and that's why suicides and all those things are happening so first it is important to become mentally fit okay so first get the directions and then think about the studies and for that we are here so there are 24 different posts of psc 
and uh, group b services are also there you can see group b services the next slide is all about uh, coming about the group b services fine so uh, now so upsc okay you are getting a all india ranking a good all india ranking then you will be getting ips irs officer then uh, uh, indian foreign services and all those things you will be getting but so you understood so 24 different posts are available group a services and group b services next slide is loading now apart from that again important thing is motivation see students problem is that you should be motivated motivation is a prime aspect without motivation you cannot exceed in your career so for motivation i'm typing some names you need to go through their life ias smita sabarwal i'm typing this name okay in chat box you can see the name ias smita sabarwal okay now the slide is loaded so ias smita sabarwal first of all think about the success stories don't think that okay i know i am the king i know everything i'll be just reading the books and i'll be going through the civil services it doesn't happen like this first go through the success stories the people from the rural area are cracking this examination so for that you need to understand what is a success story in what conditions they have studied the examination okay so okay not not about those people but at least you uh, learn about those people i smita sabar all you just uh, have a view the, it will give you motivation kiran bedi i don't want to uh, i don't need to tell you that kiran bedi everyone knows about the kiran bedi and the uh, great things she has done for the uh, nation and then arvind kejriwal although he is a politician now but he has started his career as an irs officer so read about those success stories then you will be getting motivation then you will be then your mind will get prepared for this examination and then your vision will become for this examination okay then i hope i am getting to your expectations now whatever you wanted that content that i am delivering that content now okay so you need to have patience within some 15 20 minutes you cannot expect that within 15 20 minutes i we can talk everything about the upsc it, it will not happen like this for seeing a movie you spend at least 2 to 3 hours and then you get the result of that movie and here we are talking about the civil services examination so 15 minutes you cannot expect that we can deliver everything you need to have patience okay so uh, next part is that another uh, name is there okay so that eligibility criteria and all those things is you it is easily available on google is it, it is easily available on our website youngias.com i have taken the content from that website only so i will be just telling it in brief you need to have a graduation from a recognized ugc or ai city approved university up to the age of 32 years you can give this examination and for that you need to need notification okay you it, every year it may not be same notification may change every year you need to read through the noti notification and then you need to go for the exam okay relaxation is there for a uh, reserve cost candidates okay so this is about the eligibility criteria for upsc then uh, what kind of study you need to do in upsc examination so of course as uh, shown you already there are three paper, paper patterns now you need to pay attention because now i am talking about the paper pattern okay so preliminary mains and interview this is a three paper patterns available in upsc examination okay so pre examination pre examination is for filtration purpose and which is that a paper which will be filtry filtry which will make the filtration of the student is csat paper civil service aptitude test it is a qualifying in nature for upsc examination this paper is qualifying where you need to have you need to qualify that paper you need to get a 66 percent you need to get 33 percent marks in this examination that is 66 marks out of 200 then and then only your gs paper will be checked so first your csat paper will be checked then if you are qualifying the csat paper your general studies paper will be checked and students believe me you don't have to worry about csat paper if you are with us we ensure that you just attend the csat lectures and you can qualify into the csat paper you just need to be regular in lectures because see ultimately some benefit should happen right if you are uh, joining with us we will give you insurance we will give we will assure you that you don't have to study much for your csat paper we are here to take care of your csat you you pass on that burden on our head we will be ensuring you that okay you will be getting not 33 percent at least 50 percent marks you will be getting into the csat examination because it is not too much difficult to get 50 percent marks okay so that that assurance you understand no institute will assure like this we are assuring that okay you will be getting that uh, minimum 33 percent that qualify qualifying nature no one from our institute will be it will happen with them that okay you are not qualified into the csat paper it will never happen and it has never happened in last uh, so many years since this paper has been qualifying in nature okay so you need to learn a lot about the gs general studies you need to learn a lot about that 
ठीक है सो वॉट कम्स अंडर द जी एस जी एस यू कैन सी वॉट वॉट विल बी कमिंग इन टू द जी एस यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड जनरल स्टडीज वॉट एवर यू आर लर्निंग फ्रॉम योर स्कूल वॉट एवर यू आर लर्निंग फ्रॉम योर स्कूल देर विल बी द जनरल स्टडीज पेपर सो यू कैन से दैट हिस्ट्री जोग्राफी पॉलिटी साइंस इकोनॉमिक्स करंट अफेयर्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पंचायत राज ऑल द थिंग्स आर देर इज वेरी इन्फॉर्मेटिव सब्जेक्ट एंड टू टीच दैट सब्जेक्ट देर आर सो मेनी फैसिलिटी देर आर सो मेनी फैकल्टीज हु आर एक्चुअली लर्निंग दो सब्जेक्ट सिंस लास्ट टू टू थ्री डिकेट्स दो पीपल आर लर्निंग सम पीपल्स हैव ऑलरेडी वर्क इन द सिविल सर्विसेस एज ऑफिसर्स दोज पीपल विल बी कमिंग एंड इंटरेक्टिंग विथ यू वी हैव अ ट्रेन अवर ए शाह इंस्टीट्यूट as one trend that uh, bureaucrats directly come and interact with you those who are already uh, doing that uh, civil services or those who are already active into the state and civil service uh, civil services career they will be interacting with you generally saturdays and sundays so this is a great learning point okay and this is all about the syllabus for preliminary examination next so whatever you are learning uh, till your 10th standard and ncert books uh, and you can say whatever your board books are there ncert books are there cbse books are there you need to integrate all those knowledge and then upsc uh, syllabus you can cover via that see that uh, mains examination see uh, again uh, it is already available on our website so i will not be much talking about that and uh, i think there are some upcoming webinars also so in that upcoming webinars also you will be getting the uh, insights on the mains examination but only one thing i would like to tell that upsc mains is a subjective kind of examination where you need to write and for writing you need to have a content in your head if the content is not there in your head you cannot write it and from where the content will be coming see it is an input and output process input will be your content your newspaper your books your uh, publications will be uh, will be telling you about those publications that will be your input and then output will be what what you are writing into the examination what you are writing into that answer sheet okay that will be your output so reading is must without reading see there are not going to be essays like uh, rainy day and you can say uh, my school life and all such kind of such kind of essays there uh, will not be come into the exam where you can just randomly write anything essays will be coming on a very lively topics very burning issues into the society for that the content should be there and for content reading habits is very important okay then uh, only one thing i would like to tell that upsc mains examination you can give in your own language also in your mother tongue you can give upsc mains examination hindi is there sindhi is there gujarati is there i think uh, uh, this slide is there there are many languages are there marathi you can give upsc mains examination gujarati is there and many around 20 different languages are there so language is not a barrier language is not a barrier in upsc examination your education qualification is not a barrier if you are from a commerce background from arts background from engineering background from science background from management background from hotel management background from computer background it will not matter into the upsc examination because there are many optional subjects are also available if you are from a Uh, management background you can take management subject if you are from a science background you can take physics chemistry biology subject if you are from engineering background you can select mechanical engineering and civil engineering if you are from a commerce background you can select commerce subject 500 marks 500 marks are there for optional paper you can select two optional papers out of the so many optional subjects available so you is taking care of your education background upsc is taken care is is, is taken care of your language so there is no but there is no you can say uh, there is equal opportunity for all the students there is equal opportunity for all the students so you need, you need to take care of this fine yeah so uh, understand that language is not a barrier optional subjects this is the important slide i wanted to tell then let's talk about the interview now now many people talk that sir what come, what will come into the interview see definitely we give uh, consistent basis interview training in our sessions also the experts come from uh, you can say we have some experts in delhi and uh, who are who have who are retired civil services officers from state uh, uh, government we have we have some officers along with us so those officers will be coming and in this format your interview will be conducted see this is a format the interview conduction format there is not a single person who will be taking your interview there will be a panel and who will the interview in the interview panel there will be chairman member and uh, chairman members will but two members will be sitting beside the chairman who will be asked the cross questions what is the duty of a chairman chairman will be asking you the direct questions chairman is a very cool person he will be only asking you okay tell me what is your hobby that is a straight forward single question chairman will be asking and the members will be asking the cross question if you tell that okay sir reading is my hobby then those members will be cross questioning to you okay reading is your hobby 
tell me what kind of books you have you read who is your favorite author what is the what is your favorite content okay then uh, what you do with that reading do you apply the reading in your uh, life such kind of uh, questions uh, you can say question sets they will be cross questioning you and a moment will come where you will be shut where your mouth will be shut that moment will be coming those members will be cross questioning at that extent then there are other two members where uh, you can say that uh, near the candidate there are other two members who will be observing your body language who will be observing your body language your gesture and posture see ultimately as a civil servant as a civil service officers your body language matters a lot see now covid is coming covid is uh, going on lockdown is going on what is the language if your if the language of your uh, as a municipal officer there, there is is officers who are there into the district so you can say district collector is there ceo of a municipal corporation is there so if their body language is known how you will be feeling so definitely body language is important in that uh, uh, whatever bureaucrats are there as a bureaucrat as a bureaucrat your body language matters a lot so start improving your body language from today itself your spine should be straight your head should be uh, balanced your shoulder should be you can say uh, uh, shoulder should be at a proper position and you will be and your uh, and your body language should not be a defensive and a very covert type of body language a very dilute kind of body language it should not happen like that a person should feel motivated a person should feel energetic just after looking towards you that should be your body language okay so all those things we uh, teach you in the soft skills okay and it is important that see if you are a 12 pass out now if you are a 12 pass out if you are a first year students then it is very easy to uh, learn the new things if you are already graduate and after graduation one or two years have been happened and it will be very difficult because you have become rigid okay so that's why we recommend that you start preparing for for, for upsc or civil services examination from your 11th standard or from your 12th standard examination after your 12th standard first year second year okay you start preparing at least even if you are in college start preparing for this examination because it is it will be easy to grasp those changes into you whatever we want to make you it will be easy for you to become that ideal personality okay then so that is all about the interview uh, after interview uh, that 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 was all about the upsc doubts and all we will be taking but before that again i told you that motivation stories are very important the first motivation story is ira singhal you you uh, you read about those people what ira singhal's uh, uh, what ira singhal has done in in her life if you google her picture Okay, after this webinar, you just Google Ira Singhal. Her height is around three feet, three point five feet is, is her height, and her body is completely deformed body. Okay, and uh, so uh, and she has got many struggles. You can just read about her stories. Even uh, she was not uh, uh, permitted to uh, uh, have a work into that government system due to uh, due to her physical handicap situation. But even if she was physically handicapped, she cracked. She cracked the UPSC examination. She cracked the UPSC examination with All India Ranking One. She cracked the UPSC examination with All India Ranking One. Straight forward in 2015. You read about her. So this motivation story. Another motivation story. Can you tell me the name of that particular uh, guy? A boy-like person is there in front of the uh, that car. Can you tell me the name? Yeah, Ansar Sheikh. No, not a question mark. You should be convic uh, have a conviction. Ansar Sheikh. Again. So you should you you read about Ansar Sheikh. He was from a poor, uh, 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 district like Jalna. He was from a poor uh, family background. His uh, father is doctorate. He was from a Jalna where there is no water. Very drought affected Maharashtra. Okay, so. If you are reading about those people now, you will understand you have many resources. Those people were uh, were many resources with them. But the part was Ansar Sheikh has started preparing for UPSC examination. He is after his 12th standard examination. Officially, it is after 12, but I know that he has much before that. And he qualified UPSC in first attempt. This is his USP. See, Smita Sabarwal and Ansar Sheikh. There is little bit uh, change in their records. Smita Sabarwal is the youngest lady IAS officer, and Ansar Sheikh is the youngest IAS officer who has cracked the UPSC examination in first attempt. Then how? And that's why our concept is there, young IAS. That's why our brand is there, young IAS brand. Why? Because 
we want that you should crack upsc in your first attempt that's why we have created this brand called as young ias which is there specially it is there for uh, after 10 students after 12th and undergraduate students so if you are start preparing from your early stage you can you can crack upsc examination and sarshik in your first attempt okay so that is our basic funda behind young ias again tina dabi is there she was from a rich family background so you can see that there are diverse kind of people there are variety of people who are qualifying the upsc examination those who are rich those who are poor all those people are uh, qualifying uh, giving this examination right then uh, apart from that uh, of course see every year topper you should uh, uh, you should have a information about the toppers there is a topper called as gaurav agarwal and he writes amazing blogs and you should read his blogs you should read his content and that's why i told you that our website is i can say number one website because we have got so much of content in our website okay so that was all about the upsc and mpsc within 5 minutes i'll be telling because mpsc and upsc preliminary examination is almost same and why we are why i am talking about the mpsc because if your dream is to become deputy collector if your dream is to become collector you can become collector via mpsc examination also how that is a question mark okay if you want to become ips officer but you cannot become ips officer via upsc examination you can become ips officer via mpsc many people don't know about that and if you had a patience you you will be getting this information how see you will be giving mpsc examination class 1 examination you will be giving its preliminary examination is almost same as upsc its paper pattern is 100% same as upsc you search it in a google you will say sir what you are telling mpsc is a different exam upsc is a different exam yes the examination is different but the preliminary examination is 100% same paper pattern and syllabus more questions are asked on the mpsc more questions are asked on maharashtra in mpsc examination this is a little bit difference so i would always recommend we always recommend that okay if you are preparing for upsc examination you give state services exam also in maharashtra it is mpsc in gujarat it is in gujarat it will be gujarat state service committee or public service commission examination uttar pradesh every state has its own state service public service commission examination okay so we would recommend that you go for upsc as well as you go for state examinations state civil service exams okay because syllabus there is not much difference history geography polity science economics uh, mathematics logic english all the subjects are going to remain same only little bit difference in mains examination preliminary there is not much difference but mains there will be the difference upsc mains is definitely a different exam because it is a subjective kind of exam and lot of content is required okay so if your dream is to become a uh, civil service if you are if your dream is to get the same thing in into the state services if you want to get that or if you want to serve uh, into the central government then you can do mpsc examination you can become deputy collector after 4 to 5 years of sincere service and good performance best performance you can be promoted on the post of collector you can become deputy superintendent of police and after that you can say that you give a proper service see you know vishwas nangre patil is one of the example he was into the state police services and then he promoted as an ips officer okay uh, mpsc uh, there are some newspaper questions will be taking at the end definitely i'll be addressing all of your questions then let me just give you what is required and another thing is that many student think that ki sir mpsc marathi is required it is not so students mpsc preliminary examination english as well as a marathi paper sir in english the same question will be there in english so if you are preparing for upsc exam you can give upsc because questions will be there in english language and you can obviously tackle that and in mains there is a paper called as marathi which was very difficult paper to crack for the non marathi people but now since 2016 that even that marathi paper has become very easy and it is qualifying in nature but same like csat csat you can say 33% marks were required in upsc same for marathi 40% marks are required in that marathi paper if 40% you are getting then your gs papers gs 1 2 3 4 whatever there is in mpsc mains that subjects will be checked so but that is not a challenge we take care of your uh, marathi every week we give marathi lectures to our students so that will be taken care of okay but and especially for girls okay how, uh, whoever girls are here please pay attention in maharashtra government you have got 33% reservation you have got 33% reservation in maharashtra uh, uh, services maharashtra government officer you can become with 33% reservation your challenge your competition is not with the boys your competitions is with all the female category 
okay so you should take this opportunity i see many girls uh, you are compromising with your career for your uh, you can say marriage for your in laws and uh, all those things happens and you just struggle in your life so it should not help you and i can challenge you mpc is the best examination for you if you are from for from a female category because you have got the reservation of course you can keep upsc as a goal but little bit easy way if you want to do if you want to become if you want to uh, serve the nation or, and if you want to serve the country see ultimately state is a part of country so your goal will be fulfilled your team you get your team so you should think of upsc examination okay then there are some depost in mpc tahsildar nayab tahsildar deputy collector block development officer finance all those are some state level post which are actually into the state right uh, newspaper lok sabha newspaper is good then you say maharashtra times newspaper is good for uh, mpc preparations right lok sabha times maharashtra maharashtra times you can uh, remember the names right then uh, of course i talk about the paper pattern it is exactly same for mpc see general studies and aptitude again same paper pattern same number of marks so there is absolutely no difference as far as preliminary examination is concerned except that only some questions will be there on maharashtra couple of questions will be there on maharashtra in your gs paper right then see uh, syllabus for mpc again same i'm talking about a state level state civil services group a level not about group b group c group b that is police service inspector sales tax officer mantralay officer there they are having some different paper pattern and different syllabus i'm talking about the group a where you will be getting where you will be becoming deputy superintendent of police deputy uh, uh, you can say collector for both then almost you can check it in google both the syllabus are same only you can see here that maharashtra well, this shall refers to maharashtra that will be the differentiation factor in mpsc this is a mains paper pattern i would be telling you that mpsc mains is a objective kind of examination what is the difference in upsc mains and mpsc mains that mpsc mains is objective kind of uh, uh, examination where you need to again there will be the options unlike upsc mains upsc mains is subjective where you need to write but mpsc mains is objective kind of examination okay then so syllabus and all uh, is available so i am not telling you and that syllabus is going to change okay there are not much differences but government has, has announced that there are some different syllabus of course Uh, i want to tell you that uh, uh, if you are preparing for upsc examination you can give other examination also that is why these slides are there you can give a, a staff selection examination you can give railway examination indian army navy air force cds examination you can crack if you are preparing for upsc so your preparation for upsc will never be wasted if you are preparing for upsc it will never be wasted first of all you will become a very you can say civilians of india than a normal people you will be definitely become much better than at least 1 lakh people if you are preparing if you are just for this syllabus because it is said that education prepares your personality also so definitely you will be having a very you can say a, a very positive personality very powerful personality if you are preparing for this exam and of course uh, if you are not getting selected into those exams then you can do other exams and you get those things you can give right newspaper i have told lok sabha and uh, maharashtra times you can read for uh, mpsc examination right next so talking about our brand now so first what is your first uh, thing to do after going home you just uh, have a view on our website young ias lots of information is there content see today content is a thing how you can crack upsc examination it will depend what kind of content you are exposed to and you will be getting the best content out of our website and some content we have not put on our website that is a core content about the mains examination and all that you will be getting in our training programs right so content is a king and i am definitely sure that you will be getting best content from me and that is very much evident from our website itself you can see so much of content is available statistics are is available on our website. why i am repeating this because i want you to visit that website right then yeah next slide is coming any any questions you have you can just put it in a chat box and then i'll be talking uh, apart from that uh, we also talk about what is our usp see our usp is that we also give you training as as i told you early we prepare your mindset okay you, we prepare your mindset first see what happens in most of the coaching classes is that once you join the coaching class they start bombarding you with the lectures syllabus uh, study material and all 
of course we will be giving it to you but your we will we will be preparing your mentality we will be programming your mind for upsc and civil services preparations can you tell me tell me i am asking you one question why people like ira singhal people like ansar sheik people from a poor family background gets qualified into the upsc and why people like you don't get qualified into the upsc that is a survey that people who are struggling with their life they get selected into such examination and people who are not struggling with their life they do they do they generally don't get selected in those exams what is the reason behind that can you tell me yes yeah notification will be giving it to you all the pdf uh, notifications will be getting into the group upsc.gov.in or employmentnews.com ke upar notification mil jayega and students just type in google pdf notification for upsc recent examination pdf notification for upsc you type in all of results okay so yeah load it yeah uh, sir as each year approximately 1500 officers are selected so what about the previously working officers you see retirement is there na previous officer will, will will get retired every year see there is one specific numbers around you can say 1200 1500 number there so those previous officers should be retired every year every year retirement is that uh, say that is a very futuristic question okay you got the answer for okay now see pre ias foundation course this is a very nice uh, you can say young ias concept is here see i already talked about the motto the motto was pre ias foundation course is to make it possible for the candidates to qualify civil services in the first attempt like ansar sheik that is our motto behind that and that is our vision behind that and that is how the strategy behind that course is there right then so uh, what is the saline features of our young ias course you can say holidays see your college studies and uh, our uh, platform will be uh, integrated properly you will not feel burden in fact these studies will be helping you in your college studies okay you will not feel the burden but our this program will be helping you in your college studies value added daily online pro programs will be there current affairs lecture will be there uh, online live test will be there some uh, video recordings will be there then uh, in the text format um, uh, content format blogging will be blogs will be there all those you know, that is a dark kind of information you will be getting daily on our online platform so very strong online platform asia has on the web portal right uh, ncrt see problem is that many uh, people don't uh, take ncrt into their lectures but we do take ncrt syllabus from the basic in our lectures we we assume that the the way today way to assume that you are from a ground level you are from a zero level that way my webinar has been designed today in the same way our lectures are designed you will never get any lecture bouncer on your head because we will be taking care that you are preparing from the zero you are preparing from the basic that care we will be taking right and the best online live platform see our online platform we have a special software we are not using google meets we are not using zoom and all those softwares we have our special software designed by ourselves which is a excellent software you can have a view we are just using this software where you will get feeling of a live lectures you are not interacting with me but you can interact with me directly via voice and via chat box okay so the best online platform i can say mobile application also we have mobile application is very uh, is also very informative informative same as our website so this is all about our online course on the basis of 12 standard if you are undergraduate this is all about our online course three years foundation course is there that is for young guys and the uh, fee structure all the saline features i have already, already talked to you already i have talked about those saline features on the future will be there fee structure you information will get generally is the fee structure is 25000 for first year so second year it will be classroom lectures first year it is going to be online lectures in this form okay you will be also given uh, lecture recordings on your demand ऐसा नहीं कि इट इज नॉट लाइक दैट यू आर नॉट अटेंडिंग द लेक्चर्स एंड दैट लेक्चर्स इज मिस लाइक फिजिकल लेक्चर्स इट इज नॉट सो इफ यू आर मिसिंग दोस लेक्चर विल बी यू जस्ट हैव टू रिक्वेस्ट यू नीड टू प्रोड्यूस द रीजन बिहाइंड व योर एब्सेंसी वी विल बी गिविंग द वीडियो रिकॉर्डिंग टू यू ओके दैट चैलेंज यू विल बी टेकिंग सो ऑल द थिंग्स आर अवेलेबल कंटेंट इज अवेलेबल वेब पोर्टल इज अवेलेबल रिसोर्सेस आर अवेलेबल एट दुबाबा ऑफिस लाइब्रेरी हार्डली यू कैन से any uh, institute will be having that uh, institute so can the biggest library 
yes so that was of the undergraduate course uh, and for graduate there is you can say atmanirbhar bharat that coin that term we have coined atmanirbhar bharat because we have like to the students in a very less fees see upsc fees generally crosses 1 lakh but even the online people give in to that but this is a pandemic situation people uh, monitor us with them so for considering that we have designed this policy called as atmanirbhar bharat with student support scheme we are supporting the students literally and this is for graduate students first year the fees is you can say 25000 is the fees for complete online uh, coaching will be there and uh, the demo lectures are going to start demo lectures have already started so you can opt to switch into the demo lectures and uh, you will get to know the high quality lectures and lectures full of content from our from our faculties okay then so this is the you can say platform we have designed it in a very uh, strategic extra things we are giving what are the extra things we are giving see why uh, why our students get selected into the civil services because we are giving them something extra which other people in the market are not giving and literally mpsc upsc classes have become a market nowadays but even if uh, the market is there you can say the students get selected from specific bank this is one of those banks because we mindfulness from my webinar it is evident that we give more focus on mindfulness coaching we give mind programming also we program your mind for your civil services preparations we give memory techniques i will be telling you about memory techniques in brief soft skills also we give your body language gesture posture your personality development that also training is that training is also given by the professionals open doubt solving at the end of lecture see even if it if even if it is an online platform you will be getting open doubt solving at the end of every lecture you can ask absolutely any question at the end of that lecture and your answer will be given and then exhaustive content see content we are king we are king in content i can definitely tell you you will never get you will not get such kind of content anywhere from all over india the content from the best faculties is with us and you will be getting that content see problem what is the problem in upsc upsc problem is that for upsc mains people are not getting the content what is the problem in mpsc for mpsc mains people are not getting the content they are getting the lectures but they are not getting the content but here we assure you that you will be getting content for all those platforms right and trust of the brands of course our brand is there you can search it in a google top 3 our brands will be there okay then so that is all about this uh so see and memory techniques we give the training and so uh, slides are taking time so memory techniques is exclusive thing in our training program you can ask me your doubts now you can ask me your doubts i think uh, that that is the end of the webinar and uh, whatever you want to ask uh, you can interact with the uh, number <coughs> i'm just going through the slides such kind of memory techniques uh, training we also give which will be actually helping you in your examination preparation see you might be knowing that students from north india just go through this slide i am not explaining those slides students from north india get selected into the civil services why it is so can you tell me the reason why is from north india percentage of the students from north india is more into the civil services all the mishras and all the kumars are there what is the reason behind that can you tell me in the chat box yes why the percentage from north india is more up bihar and all those area is more delhi and not from the mumbai into the civil services why it is so i am uh, waiting for your answers yes all the people are typing good see the best uh, one thing is that in in that in their education system memory techniques are imbibed in their education system yeah hard working consistency is there hard working consistency is there see those are the memory techniques which, which we talk about in our lectures history geography polity science economics in a month uh, we we conduct some memory sessions from the guests and in that case you will be getting exposed to the memory techniques how to use memory techniques in your core subjects that is a usp which we are giving and that is the reason why people from the north india are getting selected the yeah, mindset is there hard working consistency is there but memory techniques students memory techniques is what which north indian uh, there is a culture of memory techniques and that culture is not there into the mumbai or maharashtra 
So if you are using memory techniques in your, uh, you can say, uh, in your daily preparations, you can easily crack UPSC examination. Because a lot of content is to memorize. So ultimately, memory is playing a huge role into your UPSC mains. Okay. So for UPSC mains, as well as in preliminary, for remembering the content, memory techniques are going to help you. And I'm just telling via my slides that what, what are the methods we use in our memory techniques. Uh, you can say mnemonics is there. Uh, acronyms, acrostics are there, mind programming is there, such kind of memory techniques we, we use, body mnemonics are there. So you can, we, uh, these are the acronyms, you can see with your power, panic and board mass, such kind of uh, memory techniques are there, which will be relating with each and every subject, GS subject. Yeah, any other doubts? This is the example of acro acrostics. Right? Yeah, any other doubts? Till the... So within two minutes, we'll be wrapping up the webinar. Okay, so understand our exclusivity. Okay, now can you quickly, that is the last question of today's session. See, uh, Maharashtra is there at the center. So can you tell me the names of the peripheral districts, peripheral states of Maharashtra, starting from this? You need to tell me in the clockwise direction. This, 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 and last one. Can you just type it in a chat box? Maharashtra, clockwise direction, peripheral states in Maharashtra. Above one. After that, after that, after that, and after that, on the on the boundary of Maharashtra, Gujarat. Okay, first one is Gujarat. Then next one. I know most of you might be knowing, but uh, I want to tell you that how we can use memory techniques for geography, and that is the way of our teaching. That is a USP, not Uttar Pradesh. Sorry, <laughs> not Uttar Pradesh. No, no Rajasthan. That is your, your, uh, it is horrible. You need to prepare yourself. Yeah, Madhya Pradesh is the correct answer. I thought uh, many of you have already expertise into that, but I can see that, okay, but we are here to prepare you. We are here to start with the basics. Then after Madhya Pradesh, come on, what is this state? See at my that uh, point, trade point you see. Yes. Ah, after Madhya Pradesh, come on. What are the answers after Madhya Pradesh? Chhattisgarh, very good. Then after Chhattisgarh, there is a uh, Chhattisgarh. Yeah, after Chhattisgarh. Telangana, good. After Telangana. Karnataka and Las Goa. See, now how, how we can be memorizing it, uh, it with the help of memory techniques. You can say that. Suppose Maharashtra. Suppose Maharashtra, I am uh, giving the name of some, uh, you can say, uh, Maharaj, suppose. Some Maharaj is there. Okay, so Maharaj is there, a royal uh, person is there, he needs to enjoy his life. So a Maharaj is there, a king is there, then Maharaj is Gujarat. So Gujarat, I'm making a distortion in the memory technique. Gujarat, I'm distorting it as a Rath. So Maharaj, king at Rath, Rath, understand a little bit Hindi, Rath in night. Then there is a Chat, there is a Chhattisgarh. So in Rath, he had a Chat, uh, Madhya Pradesh, sorry, Madhya Pradesh MP. So he need to have a beverage. He want to have a drink. He need to have a, and in, in, in Sanskrit, it is called as Madhya. So Maharaj, Rath, Madhya. See the story we are making. And that is a way we talk, we, we teach uh, some of the, our GA subjects in our memory technique session. So Maharaj, Rath, Madhya. How many rupees he paid for the Madhya? 36 rupees because it is Chhattisgarh. Chhattis means 36. So 36 rupees he paid. Then he, Telangana. Generally people mixes water into the alcohol, but what he is mixing, he is mixing tail, tail means oil into the water. See, it is funny, why? Because it is our human mind to memorize You your study, if you if you make your study weird, if you can make your study funny, then you can memorize it easily. That is girl, Telangana, he is mixing tail, that is oil, then he started doing natal. So after having alcohol, started doing that. then we told that, okay, if you want to do natal, if you want to enjoy your life, go into the so Maharashtra, uh, you can say Gujarat, uh, 30, uh, then Madhya Pradesh, Madhya, that is alcohol, Madhya Pradesh, then it was 36 rupees, Chhattisgarh, then it was tail, that is oil, Telangana, then it was uh, Natak, that was Karnatak, and finally, please go into the Goa, so go. So that way, memory techniques we use, very funny thing, you will be enjoying the memory technique session, as well as all the GA session, you will be getting a nice content from uh, all of us. And uh, thank you very much for attending this webinar. Any doubts you have, you can directly ask me in last two minutes or we can uh, wrap up this webinar.
okay thank you any doubts uh, definitely another sessions are coming tomorrow there will be one session i guess you will be getting a schedule you can ask the doubts in uh, upcoming sessions also right so you did you understood how i cannot to i can rationally rational things are there i i had told you that step okay i told you those steps i cannot I, I will not i want to do how i can do this and then it starts opening serial simultaneously so that journey that journey from i cannot to i can you should understand that the ladder i had uh, that special bpd the special image i had you need to uh, memorize that special image okay fine so all those things you'll be getting on your whatsapp okay all those questions related to your studies books and all we have a separate pdf for that you'll be getting on your whatsapp group okay so thank you students for your patience and thank you for attending and please have a patience if you are patience you can crack any civil services examinations okay thank you thank you students